You! <gasps> They're coming. Uh. Good morning, evening, and night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be playing Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. It is an episodic horror series that has been coming out every now and again. It's already come out with three other episodes, with this one making four. So, we're just going to hop right into the game and get started. Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you are requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears of Fathom, Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of- It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I'd like to do- I, But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a, a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience in my life. Oh. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh. Whew! I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keeps the memories at bay. You'll probably see Billy at the gate, just show him your ID. How is it? Iron Bark Fire Department. What is this? Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back and on the gravel park by gate D. And from there it'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there it'll take you a couple hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. All right. Where are we going? We're just driving down the road. I've always loved the great outdoors. Must just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseboro. They have the best burgers in town, you have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks. Oh, am I here? I 
I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh. What's going on over here? Oh. Oh, he's eating a burger. He looks... Hey, bud. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Interesting. You know around here? Uh, I'm a new staffer at Ironbark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. I spread all over the news. Mm, good burger. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says uh, they got lost, but a lot of people think around here think something else happened. What do you mean, something else? There's rumor going around that a creature got him. A creature? Yeah, you know. Like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in the forest. You know, usual u usual stuff. Just, you know, just eating a burger, but usual stuff. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Mm, mm, this this burger. Mm. All right, thanks for giving me a horror story. No problem. All right, he is enjoying his burger. Let us go get one of our own. I want I want to try it. I want to try it. I want to see what he's eating. Oh, welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Not too bad. She looks sad. Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Turn that off. Oh, now the classic. Excuse me. Please leave me alone. Oh, he got no eyes. Please leave me alone. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a sub. How's the food? He just stared at me. He just stared at me. I don't want to sit anywhere. I just want to talk to people. What do you guys say? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you heading? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day? We can't say. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Interesting. You look a little lost. <laughs> Sorry about my smile. I'm just passing through. So where are you heading? Don't mind me. I, I just like holding my coffee cup up like this. Sorry. Starting my new job at a nearby state park. <laughs> That's great. I didn't know those jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. See, I can afford to dump coffee all over my chest and burn myself because I'm rich like that. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. You know, the big stuff. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It sure keeps me busy, that's for sure. I don't think I could handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, but that's for sure. But I find it very fulfilling. Drink your coffee. Can I talk to you? No. Alright, I'm gonna sit in the back like a, a weirdo. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, hello. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah. So what can I get for you this... Get for you today? Cheeseburger. Strawberry slush. Anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Burger. I can really use a good meal. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Alright. I guess I'll go pee before eating. Whoa. Immersive gameplay right here. PP -pee simulator. I was done with it. Yeah, you really were. Good, good piss session. Good, good pee pee time. All right, let's sit back down. I want my food. Where's my food? Where's my food? Give me my food. I want my burger and slush. I left the door open too, so you can smell. You can smell the ammonia. I just hear this dude eating outside. I'm just gonna watch him. Just stare at him intently till I get my food. I'm gonna take his burger if I don't get mine in a minute. Oh! Yeah! Thank you. Let's go for the, some fries first. We're gonna finish off the fries. Then, we'll put... Uh... It figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Let's eat this. Ooh. Oh. Delicious. Delicious burger. Mmm. Eat it. Eat the burger. Oh, yeah. And a slut. What'd she text me? So, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Pretty good meal. Oh, I can't even... Can't even enter. Told you. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you're talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Well, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Sure. Oh, I'm so... Okay. Let me drink this strawberry smoothie. Delicious meal. Can I eat the packets of sauce? I want to eat your tray too. I want to eat the cardboard and the lid of that cup. All right. I'm done. Take my tray. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Give me the check. I'll be right back. Good. Okay. Oh. I want to take his burger. I want to take it. I want another one. I want a free one. I'll pay for this stuff, and I'll go, I'll go get a snack outside. Hurry up with my check. Look at this. Look at the slow walk. You know what? I'll give you a big tip. I'll be nice. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah, no problem. Why do I... F I got an achievement for that. Why do I feel like it's going to come to haunt me? Why, why do I feel like I want to be like in an obituary? Alright, let's get going. Have a good night. Let's get going. Off we go. Oh, I wasn't very proud of my driving. I'm a baller. I'll just drive in the middle. I want to include, I want to include the location of this park. 
But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Alright. I was told to park at the gravel. Let's get going. Iron Bark State Park. Welcome. Alright, let's go say hello. I was told to say hi to someone. Yo, hello? Someone in here? I scared you! You're off some meds, bro. You're the widest eyed man in the building right now. I'm terrified of you, Goofy. Oh my God. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. What? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I don't know. We were hiring it. Who is walking in the background? Hang on. Let me check on that. Uh huh. Close the door. Miss it. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here you are, are your keys. Take keys. You are... Let me open the trail gate for you. You are a scary dude. You know that? Oh, whoa. Okay. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Take flashlight. Okay. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Oh. What? Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Got it. Oh. Can I? Okay, it won't let me pick up my stuff. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, let's get going. I hear you. I'm out of here. I'm out. Okay. 11.32 p.m. It was log height. It was starting to get cold now. Alright, we made it. Let's get up there. This is not good at all. Iron Bark Tower 11, Lacey Trail. 
Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Oh, okay. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I guess I turn on the power. Anything over here? My hands were full. Okay. Let me head upstairs. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Oh, there's the other tower. There you go. Let's throw our stuff on. Let's get our stuff down. Alright. Let's radio in. Okay. Whoa. Okay. What? Okay. What? Oh. You'll probably see the like, Okay. And I'm waiting for... Lights out after 12. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Supply drops are hanging out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Okay. So... What was it? Ironbark 11? Ironbark 11. There we go. Trail map. So tower 11. Pigeon pass. Mount misery. Split rock. Okay, I don't see another... The Tower 12. Okay. Plague.exe Console Service Reporting. Oh, okay. Date. Temperature- oh! Static. Who is this? Oh. Thought you were gonna okay. You were watching. I had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Look for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Yet? No. Should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Okay. I get it. What? No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. Yeah. Oh, Marley did stab her who was in the lookout before you. Okay. Alright. Let me... Let me open these up, just so I can see what's going on.
All right, let's go get some uh, firewood. Okay, so far, uh, I'm terrified. Oh, you can crouch too. All right, let's get up here. Let's put the fire, okay. There we go. Oh. There we go. Ah, I see it. I see this. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. There you go. Did you report for the night yet? No. Okay, I get it. I'm going to report for the night. What is this? Oh, a compass? Not... Where do I see the temperature? Fire finder? Okay. Oh, there we go. Temperature's 44.2. Wind speed. Twenty knots. Oh. All right, 20, zero. Let's say it's cloudy. What? No, let me get to it. Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint me. I get it. I get it. But that, that reported by I forgot my name. How do I forget my name? Where's my ID? There we go. Jack Nelson. Right. It's cloudy. Wind? Blizzard, heat waves, dust storm, rain, wind, clear, mist. Mist? What do you mean? Is it not... Is it clear? I think it's windy. That's probably what it is. Probably just windy. Wind. That it... What? Wind, rain, thunderstorm, cloud, mist, clear. It was clear? You copy, new guy? Tower 11, okay, copy. I'm gonna sign off for the day. All right. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night. You don't want the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Let's, uh... Alright. I guess we go to bed. Um. Let me close the boards. Alright. Time to go to bed. Alright, that was, uh... Our first night in Iron Bark. What? 
All right, I'm getting up. Connor? I had to pee. Where is my flashlight? Alright. On my first night being out of the cabin, gave me a strange feeling. Is there anyone here? Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. I had to go pee, I thought. Oh. I guess I'll just pee here. Interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, what? There's a person down there. There's a person down there. Right there where my pee's going. Right over there. Hold up. Hold up. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Yep. I caught you. There's someone here. Someone watching. Uh, report, report. Okay, I guess not. Uh. Alright. I guess I'll go back to bed. Okay. That doesn't seem good. I don't know why there's just a person at night walking around with a flashlight. Night two. Ah. Beautiful morning. Drinking coffee. Didn't see a person stalking me at night. Get a nice photo going. Nice photo of the sunset. I still didn't get that recipe. She got, she still got to send it to me. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. Hey guy, you copy? Yeah, I do. Connor from Tower 12. I copy. Tower 11, do you copy? What's Son up? Of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. What's up? You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Let me look. I need you to confirm. Oh. Alright, I get it. You see I see the smoke. I do see the smoke. You spot that white smoke it appears to be in the lazy trail sector. Which is not the lazy trail. Sector. Okay. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. All right. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Do you have any other detail? No additional information at all. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Stay safe out there. All right. Don't forget uh to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. All right. Where is my bear spray? There we go. Alright. Off we go. Let's get out of here. So, lace. Utility Shack, Lacey Trail. Let's go see what these these rapscallions are doing. Destroying these beautiful these beautiful woods. As we as we float, we're just two objects floating in the middle of the wilderness. 
caution area. Yeah, I got my bear spray. I, I got there at 8.30 p.m. Oh, my God. I followed the trail. Let me to the smoke. Okay. That's... That's not good. I love Jen. She gives the best... No camping... Okay. Did you reach our account? Oh! I'm sorry, I don't- Oh. There you go. Sorry, I just got home. Hey. Show yourself. The area beyond the site was closed. Don't test me. I had to put it out. With what? Do they have a pail? Oh. Alright. That scream didn't sound all good, too, and he... I heard whistling. Okay. Machete. What? Okay, this doesn't feel right. Do one more check. Okay. Don't see anyone. Power 11, frequency. Alright. I guess they're just, uh, gone. They, uh, vanished, I guess. Nine oh seven. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I shouldn't, couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Yeah, they're dead. They're clearly dead. They unalived. They were unalived. Okay, we're back. We're here. We made it. Is there a way that, like, I could- Can I take pictures with my phone? I want to take pictures with my phone. Alright. Well. I guess, uh, I help no hikers. Uh, alright. Let me report in real quick and let them know what happened. Connor? Uh. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big joke. Sorry. Son of a bitch. What? They never learn, do they? What are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Uh huh. This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? A scream. No, it was a dude screaming for his life like he had his, uh, twig and berries snapped off. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers?
Uh-huh. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. It seems to be true. Well, Glad to be of service. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Alright, let's make that recipe. What did she say? Pizza, pasta, bake. Uncooked pasta, marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella, dice. Instruction, please bake at 420. So, where is my oven? Okay. What is this? Looking at food, make my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try the recipe now. Okay. Let's, uh, start cooking a meal, I guess. Uncooked pasta. That does not look appetizing at all. Uh, I did marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella, diced, uncooked pasta, placing casserole, okay. I'm hungry. Yeah. New guy. Fine. What's up? What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Good job. Hope they can track them down and get some peace of mind. Sure. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Shot it. Got it. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Go over twelve, signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. You are helping them in some way. Still cooking. Fine. Twenty knots. Twenty knots, forty nine. Forty nine point nine. Twenty knots. Zero. I keep forgetting my character's name. What, Jack Nelson? Yep. I guess I didn't. I just didn't. Jack Nelson. Cloudy. There you go. Can I get my food now? Is it done? Yes. Oh, I liked eating in bed. Uh, all right. Uh. Yummy. Delicious. I don't know how it cooked like this, but... Yummy. I was already full. Alright, I guess I'll save the other half for, uh, tomorrow. Fuck all that. Alright, all the other food could just sit on the ground. Yoink. Alright. 
Let's start closing it up. One after the other. Close her up. Alright. Oh, I need fire. I need fire. Silly of me, I need fire. Let's head back up. I do not- I feel like there's eyes on me somewhere. There's someone. There is someone. I do not like it. One bit. Time for bed. Time to sleep. Time for night night. 2.27 AM. Why are we awake at this time? What? Yeah, there's someone here. about to don't maybe come out there don't what let me take my phone out can I take a picture the only to contact Connor There's something out there. No! Tell you what, you guys. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. That's not kids. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. Dude. Let's not get carried away, you guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door. Good night. You're useless. It has to be. Connor didn't make any sense. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't know. I have a f baloney. I threw it off the tower. The sardines. I threw. I threw it off the tower. Did, got, can I take a picture? I, I, there's gotta be a, can I not take a picture actually? I don't know, this is something I would take a picture of, but. Okay, do that. Turn that off, go to bed. Nothing happened, I guess. Nothing out of the ordinary. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Clean these things.
Oh. Someone shot a flare off. Someone needs help. Alright, someone shot a flare. Hello? Is anyone there? Yep. I, I need help! Please, someone answer. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. What's going on? I... I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What equipment do you have, have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. What's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Okay. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Oh. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Okay. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Small stream? I'm walking direction? towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. West. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me... Okay. So he said he's by a small stream. He's heading west. Yeah. Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty... Uh, I'm just so angry. I, I understand. Just give me a sec. Said he's heading west. Unless he means over there. I'm going to tell him to go left. I'm telling him to go left. I'm at a trail <laughs> I knew it. I thought I looked familiar. I myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions are can be challenging. You there? Hello? I'm right here! What? I hear you. I hear your whistles. I'm in my tower right now. What? That's You're not me. me out. Hello? Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Thanks. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? I'm not telling you anything. I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. 
I've got enough to keep me occupied. Absolutely. It's a busy job. You need some more, like... You, do you need therapy, dude? I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right. Just getting used to the new environment. That's the spirit. I don't trust you. Did you notice anything unusual on your hike up north yesterday? I gotta mention it. Mention Skull. He knows. He knows. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it? Before cleaning it up? No. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things pal. Besides we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Get out of my building. I was too hungry. Oh. Uh, Alright. I like to eat it in bed. I know you do. Go ahead, eat your half. Hurry up. The most unappetizing sounds ever to come from a human being. Yum. Alright. So I need to get some firewood. Close these down. Start closing it up. I had to report for the night for- I need wood. Okay. Okay. I get it. 56.6 26 All right. I need firewood. Let's go grab some firewood. Firewood, firewood. Nothing better than some firewood. What's in here, actually? I got my hands were full. Oh, there's extra stuff in here. Alright. Jeez. Who are you? Just gave me a heart attack. I understand. Loneliness can make your mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. So... I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right method reach the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. 
I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember. Curiosity can lead to places you rather not go. Farewell, Jack. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Yeah, and you just go walking off into the woods. Okay, let's just go upstairs. Lock the door. Yes, I'm here. I'm in my tower. You copy now. Finally. What? I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Into the guy maintained that nearby radio tower. Connor, you're not telling me something, Connor. Is this about yesterday? What? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? Okay. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to, Connor? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly, yeah. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to Park Guidelines. Dude, it's not Park Guidelines, it's literally... We're, it, there's a cult. There's got to be a cult going on. Time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Yeah, I got this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Good night. Over and out. Over and out. Okay. So, my unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that was a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Nine eighteen p.m. Oh great! Oh, it's raining. Yeah, well, good news. What? Oh. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update well, it? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Come on, Connor. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Sure. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. What the, the- how am I supposed to update my computer? Ironbark Fire Department. Enter the update package code? Oh, okay. C H K U P D. Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay. Update four three four six zero eight four. Package found, looking for...
please active an active line five nine eight seven one zero four five five four one six five four eight seven your system is now up to date Ooh. Let me just grab some gas. All right, I head back up. Okay. I guess that's somewhere we have to hide. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Uh-huh. Jack. Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? I'm getting up. What's up? What? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I see more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me look. What? Okay. <gasps> you! <gasps> They're coming. Uh... Um... Huh? Hide, hide.
I'm making it run. Make it run for it. Make it run for it. Make it run for it. Run for it. Run for it. What? What? What just happened? What? Don't tell me I have to replay the whole episode. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Get out, get out, go, go, go. Get out. We are out. Run. 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 To the car, to the RV. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, no, 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 no. to the car, to the car, to the car! We glitch. We did. Oh my goodness. Really? I couldn't leave with my door wide open. You're getting chased by a cultist, dude. I could not leave my, my door open. <sighs> Let me get back to it. again we're out again this time I'll close the door to my damn RV come on I get it I get it I get it come on come on come on come on come on RV 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 I was 
adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Mitch. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh my goodness we did it and that was fears the fathom iron bark lookout so cultists 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 well if you guys enjoyed this episode then stick around for the next part of either fears to fathom in this series or in another gameplay series i have coming up so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later peace